This is an especially joyous occasion because the bride and groom, Rosie and Jeff, in order to show their love and commitment to one another, have written their own vows. Aww. Jeff, would you please begin? Uh, Rosie, you brought life, love, and lightness to my world, and I will forever cherish our lives together. Aww. Rosie? Oh, Jeff. Your love and support has been an inspiration, and your kindness a rainbow of smiles. And now... You know, when we first met, everyone was surprised that I would even go on a date with you. He's really not your type, they said. They were right. I mean, my previous boyfriend, Jonathan, was, as everyone here remembers, an extremely well-built Nordic blonde and a Rhodes Scholar who now has a thriving law practice in Connecticut. Whereas you look like this and sell calamine lotion. But that's not important. What's important, Jeff, is that you came to me when I was all alone in the world. My heart broken, my dreams dead. I mean, Jonathan and I had gone out for eight years and we had just broken up. I was a mess. And you were there. So, sure, I thought I'd be standing opposite to Jonathan right now, but am I? No. Mr. Non-Commitment found it easier to be with some bimbo secretary. And of course, Jonathan said, well, I thought I loved you, but I guess I never really did. Weird, huh? And I said, yeah, weird. Why didn't you tell me before I worked as a cocktail waitress in that hellhole butt binders four years to put you through Yale? For what? For what? So you can leave me for some slut with a fake ass? Well, you know what, Jonathan, if there's a god, may you burn in hell! May you just burn in hell! So, to all my friends who told me not to go out with Jeff, I'm not saying you were wrong. <laughs> I'm just saying that Jeff here is a man. And I don't want to die alone. <laughs> die alone, my love, and neither will you. And regardless of what anyone says, I do love you in my own way. Ah. Uh. <laughs> yes, well, uh... <clears throat> and now, if there is anyone here present today who knows of any reason why these two should not be joined in holy matrimony? <laughs> Jeff? What? I uh, guess you two kids know what you're doing. Uh, I now pronounce you man and wife. None of the lips. Ah. <laughs> uh... 